By the way, he also had an incident when he was younger where they, he had to lose a leg. Shit. Right, because um, doctors messed up. They were supposed to cut at a certain height. Oh, they damn. let the whatever I don't know what inf- inf- uh, infection it was. They let it spread. By the uh, time they realized it was up here, so they had to cut all the way like at the hip, right? Damn. What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We're here with Brose, and we got a special guest, Alan. Oh. There you go. I was, tra- I, was tra- I was trying to keep. I was, I was trying to come up with a nickname. <laughs> right off the spot. You know, you've seen a couple episodes. Mm-hmm. I've sent you a couple links. I did. I checked some out. And you know, we um, mostly talk about creepy stuff. Mm-hmm. You're letting me know that something happened with yeah. you. Yeah. So uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna set up the story first, and then um, I feel like the. The moment of it happening is quick, and then just that. But um, I think this was about me. I was about seven or eight years old. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, let's take it back a little bit more. I came from Mexico um, about two and a half years, three. Been living here since. Um, I have recollection of one of my grandpas. He came and visited at one point, but uh, both of my grandmas and my mom's dad um, I met him before I left, but I have no memory of me meeting him. I have him in pictures, and that's it. Yeah. Anyways, fast forward to me, I think, turning eight or seven. Um, we're having a birthday party, you know. Um, fortunately, at my birthday party, we get a call that my mom's dad had passed away. So we get the call. Mm-hmm. He passed away. Um, everyone's sad. Um, my mom goes to her room. We follow her behind, you know. Um, one of my uncles comes on. He's like, "Hey, you know, the show must go on. There's people here. You know, you know, let's just give them, you know, what right. they came for. You know." And yeah. so we all just kind of cried a little and came back out, had our party. Yeah. Um, and that was that, right? You know, I never ever got to meet my grandpa ever again. And you know, mm. that's kind of how uh, life works. And were you were you close, like really close to him? Um, we developed a relationship over the phone the whole time we, okay. we lived over here. It was just over, call, calling him, always talking to him. Yeah. So there was, you know, we did get close, but, um, visually I never got to, you know, see him ever again, but right. yeah. yeah, we did, we did, we did get to talk a lot. So, um, my sister used to play the violin. She would play the violin for him over the phone, you know, I was it, was, it was crazy. As soon as, as soon as he passed away, she stopped playing. Never, never picked it up ever again. To this day. Oh, to this day. Wow. Yeah. yeah so, Yeah. Anyway, so fast forward to, this was during the summer, right? So, um, like a lot of us, or I feel like a lot of parent, a lot of us that we grew up with, both our parents working. Um, I, 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 we, I didn't have no summer camp. I didn't have no, you know, nothing. So Monday to Friday, I was at home, you know, all the way in the room. Don't open the door if anyone knocks. You know, yeah. nothing. You know, you know the the you know me and my sister. Till yeah. this day, if someone knocks on the door, I'm not opening. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's almost like, yeah. Uh, Unless I get a text. And my dumbass is just it. opening no problem. <laughs> no. I don't hesitate. Hey. I trip out. If someone knocks, I'll be like, who's here? Yeah. Like, who who knows I live here? I don't expect nobody. Yeah. I try to peep through, through the blinds. Yeah, try to make it not seem like I'm look, looking at them. Yeah. So you didn't, you didn't like to play outside, or you just, you just, you were told to stay inside? Oh, I love to play outside, but I was told to stay inside until, oh, okay. until it was an adult home. So I lived with my aunt's. It was my aunt's house, right? Oh, okay. So we rented for a while with her. So it was my aunt's. You know, we had some, at some points, um, we kind of like some uncles that were, you know, just trying to get back on their feet. We'd, we would, mm-hmm. they'd stay at our house for a few months, you know, and head on their way. So actually, actually, it actually falls in part to the, um, to the story. So we had a couch usually against the wall. Mm-hmm. But we would pull it forward and behind the couch would be someone's sleeping area. You know, oh, okay. I, when it was nighttime, they set up their bedding and everything. Right? Yeah. So, so think of it, um, summer, me and my sister all alone, um, just, you know, watching TV in the, in the, um, in our, our parents' bedroom because it was bigger. And then it's like commercial break or something. Mm-hmm. I head over to, um, to the bathroom and then I go do my business, come back out. Um, so come back out. And then, um, in that area where the bedding was, you know, it was, it was an area made for someone to sleep, but it was, mm. during the day, there was nothing there, right? Yeah. So, 
you had to cross, you had to walk through there to get back into my parents' room, right? So it was like the quickest like moment of like, like something told me to turn, right? So it's like you're walking, there's the, the couch, I look over. Um, by the way, I only knew my grandpa by pictures, right? There, yeah. was, this, there was this picture of him um, in what you would see, kind of like, like a dicky style button-up. But it was old school, right? So there was no dickies back then. But it was kind of like a, like a khaki. Yeah. All the pictures he had was like a khaki button up, kind of like short sleeve, yeah. and um, kind of like khaki um, shorts, right? right? Yeah. By the way, he also had an incident when he was younger where they, he had to lose a leg, Shit. right? Because um, doctors messed up. They're supposed to cut at a certain height. Oh. They damn. let the whatever I don't know what inf- inf- uh, infection it was. They let it spread. By the oh. time they realized it was up here, so they had to cut all the way like at the hip, right? Damn. So, yeah, he had one leg. So, I only knew him through pictures. And I'm walking back to my room. Something tells me to turn, right? I turn. I see my grandpa, who had just passed away. Yeah. I see him. And he's, he, he, it's it's in the most weirdest way because he had a, he had his legs, right? He didn't have his legs. He, he lived his whole life without his legs. But, and this happened in like, like a split second. Like, like. So I seen him, he's there, and he's almost like in a meditative state, you know, yeah. almost like, like at peace, you know, like, uh, at, to this day, I, I can't make out what it was, yeah. but I knew it was him. So I look over, and it's almost like, you, you know, you know when like, um, the cartoons, when, uh, whatever it is, like Bugs Bunny, whatever, takes off and leaves the, the dust behind? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. Like, I oh, saw yeah. him, and I left. Because I was scared, yeah. you know, I'm like, there was no one, there was supposed to be oh. nobody at my house, you yeah. know, but at the same time, I knew who it was, but the fact that I saw somebody there made me leave. Yeah. So I ran into my room, I told my sister what happened, she comes back with me, nothing there. She, is she older? Yeah, she was, she, she's okay, my I was, I was like, she had to be older to like, yeah. ball, like to get <laughs> yeah. tough, but uh, let's go check. <laughs> I was like, I was like, half, half, almost, almost crying, like, I just see my grandpa. Yeah. She's like, what are you talking about, you know? It, it, I, mean, I couldn't even get words out at that point anymore either, you know. But yeah. like, like even to this day, that image is in my head. I know I feel like I saw him. I told my mom once she got home, you know. But to me, it was like, it was almost like, like it was real, like like real. But to me, I'm still like, what the heck, you know? Like, yeah. Well, you know, was it him telling me like, hey, I'm good, you know, and everything? Yeah. Where I'm at, there's no more pain. I don't know. You know, I, 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 to this day, I still think about it, and it goes over my head. And that's probably, like, I think the only, like, experience that I've had, you know, but it stuck with me, and that was, like, me at six or seven years old, so. That alone probably made you believe in ghosts, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That alone, yeah. yeah. That, um, I don't know if it matters or not. It's just me being curious. Uh, was he standing or sitting? He was sitting. He was sitting, he was sitting in that had, area. He in that area, both legs, like you said, right? He had both. Le- he had yeah. He had both legs, and he yeah. he, he had he he had missing. He was missing a leg. And he did, yeah. you know. So it was like in that vision or whatever it was, like yeah. I saw him with his legs like cross, you know, kind of like like this. Yeah. Just kind of his hands by his sides, you know. Yeah. Is he uh, like for example, like if I'm just sitting there, like I look like I'm just mad all the time. Like I look like I have a serious face. Like, like, what was his facial expression? Um, because I know, like, just people who are just smiling all the time. Like, yeah. what, what, what was his? It was, it was. I feel like I can't remember his face actually. It was a split it was, second, like you said, right? Yeah, it was like a. Or even like based off the pictures, like you know, like did he look like he did in the pictures, or did he look oh, different? Yeah, he looked like he did in the pictures. Just very like. It's like kind of just stern look, not really like stern you know? look. Okay. But if I could remember something, it was more so like, like kind of like 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 a looking down type of thing. So it almost looked like his eyes were closed. Yeah. So kind oh, of like oh a, you said a meditative state, right? Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, so that's that's, that's right. kind of what I remember. I just remember. Like, kind of like eyes closed or like looking down, like you know, there was no eye contact where I could tell you. Oh, so he didn't even look up at you. No, it was, he was just him there. He didn't give him the chance, bad boy was gone. Maybe I did. <laughs> no, yeah, maybe I didn't. Maybe <laughs> it was right. much more I could have heard or something. You know, yeah. But, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Boy. How many treasures in the <laughs> took off? That would have went bad. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Mijo. It was like, where? I'm checking, bro. Yeah. And then you you told your mom, and she didn't. Did she believe you, or? or... Um, I told my mom, and yeah, she she did. She 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 was kind of like at a loss for super words. Super happy. That she yeah, did. yeah. For a minute, she was at a loss for words, and then yeah. she was like, you know, 
And then she's like, go tell your aunt. Go tell this person, you know. Oh, yeah, which, it's so nice to hear that. Yeah. I mean, to see that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I feel like it, in a way it almost um, gave her closure, too. Yeah. She never got to see him either, you know. We were here, uh, you know, he yeah. died over there, so. Yeah. You know, you know, to this day, we're still here and, yeah. you know, have not had a chance to go. To your back. So, yeah. But, Dang. Yeah. But me, I've never experienced anything like that. Yeah. Nothing paranormal, nothing where I see something. So it's like, I've never been able to like talk to like my mom about it or yeah. anything. I've heard her, you know, stories, her and my uncle, because they're both uh, religious. And I mean, you know, you know, when you're younger and like your parents or your family, like they're at, they're at the table just drinking coffee. It's my mm. favorite. Just talking. Mm. Now I'm at that table. But yeah. Just, yeah. I love those stories. Yeah. This, is, this is pretty, this, that, that was like their podcast. It just wasn't, <laughs> it, was a podcast. Yeah, it just they, wasn't filmed. They had their own podcast. Cafe con leche. It's actually a good <laughs> That's idea. That's what it should be called. <laughs> For real, huh? Cafe con leche, just drink pan dulce here. Bowl pan dulce here. That's it. Um, but I would always hear them just saying like, like, oh, so, like, a couple of nights ago, I saw, like, a woman dressed in white in the kitchen. Or, oh, or uh, my uncle would scary. say... I'll like, turn white, man. Yeah. Ghost. Uh, or my, I remember my uncle said that one time he... Um, so, he lived with us, and he had his own room, and... But he would, at 12, like, he had a midnight snack, exactly at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> like, forever. And um, so, he went to the kitchen to get, I don't know, like, a piece of bread or something. Just, yeah. just anything, and he said that he saw a little kid crying, like yeah. on, on the table. Gone. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, like, and th- they'll tell these stories to each other. I'm just, oh, I'm just there playing, you know. Like I'm just, you know. I'm... And they believe the fuck out of each other. Yeah. When they tell these stories, like my family. Like, like I'm just there playing, and, and I'm listening to this. Like I'm not really paying attention. Yeah. I just remember like those few stories. Yeah. And then, like when I think now, I'm just like they said those so casual. Yeah. Like, that's like, oh, yeah, just a couple of nights ago, I saw this. Yeah. Like, you just got to live with it, right? Like, like yeah. yeah. And, and like, because, nah, that can't be me. And because I've never experienced it, it's mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't know how I would react like, or how I would uh, feel, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know if I'd be scared or if I would, like, even share it with someone or anything, you know? It's, it's, it's just weird when people just say it's so casual like that when yeah. you think about it. I I, I, I I can relate to that. I feel like me myself, I would have a point where I'm like, I'm gonna step away from the adult table because I can't handle these stories no more. <laughs> I was I feel like I was a, I was a scary. And they always one up kid. each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, you know what happened to me though? <laughs> I oh, saw yeah. two ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Juggling. <laughs> Juggling. <laughs> Juggling heads. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Dude, the Mexico stories or like you know like the Mexico or like South South America Central oh, America yeah, stories yeah. are always I feel like are always some of the craziest ones. Like yeah. Like just um, um, I, I know I know there was there's a vague one from my hometown about um, like a horse that would that would that would trot through yeah through like our little town you know yeah. and you'd be sleeping and you can hear it Sleepy at night <laughs> yeah kind of like that like the headless yeah. horseman right yeah um you just kind of hear it through through the town and apparently it would I feel like the creepiest part was that they said that it would stop at people's front doors. Oh, and you could he- so you'd be sleeping and then you you know you it'd wake you up and you you'd hear a horse stop at your front door. Yeah. And like would people go out there and there's nothing in there? It's just the sound that you hear. You could you you would see it. What if what if I mean uh, I mean when people tell those stories I'm yeah. always like yeah. maybe it was just a horse. Maybe it was your horse and you were just hung That's over. That's enough for me, bro. I'm yeah. Terrified. A horse. <laughs> Anything sound in the middle of the night at my house. Yeah. Are you into horror movies? Uh. It's not my first choice, but yeah, I'll watch. I'll watch one here and there. Who's like, your favorite slasher? Like, my favorite what? Like slasher killer, like Michael, mm-hmm. Jason, Chucky. Uh, Chucky is his favorite. I hate him. Yeah, what the fuck? probably say Michael. Michael Myers. Michael. You have I'd you go, seen the last movie? No, no. Oh, no you gotta man. watch it, man. I'd have go seen... heads up with Jason before Michael. He what? I'd go heads up with Jason before I go heads up with Michael. Jason is stronger though. Yeah, but you don't scare me like Michael's. Michael's mask is a little scary. You know what? Yeah. If, if you go, yeah. you know how it's always been that joke of like, the the slasher walks and then like the people are running away from him, but somehow he catches up. 
a couple years ago, I went back to watch all the old Friday movies. This dude runs. I was Jason, like, Jason's you know, always running. Yeah. yeah. Always. Like, I'm, I remember, I saw part one, I was like, okay, he's running. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe this is just like a really old movie, so, you know, let me see, let me watch part two. Or actually, no, sorry. Part one, it's his mom. Part two, it's him. He's running. Part yeah. three, he's running. Part four, he's running. And I'm just like, okay, so this dude just runs. I've never seen the originals. Yeah, no, really? Yeah, for, I've uh, never seen those. You gotta watch them. So, I, I mean, I just spoiled it. I spoiled number one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you yeah, you did. <laughs> did y'all hear that, um, the, the guy for in the Chucky movies? Oh, yeah, I heard. Have you heard of that? No. What happened? What? Oh, man. So, when they filmed the original Child's Play 1 and I think 2. Yeah. Um, so they have the doll, right? Mm -hmm. That, you know, that, like as a machine. The animatronic. And, yeah. the animatronic. And some scenes that they did, have you seen them? Yeah. Seen so them. there's some scenes where you just see him running, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like you, if you ever just think about how they filmed that, it's like, how did they get like a doll to look so realistic? Yeah. For some scenes, they will, they would build a bigger set. So like, for example, say like that couch is, um, in the movie, they had a second one that was giant sized, right? And then, oh. so... Yeah. There was a little person who would dress up as Chucky, and he did some of the running scenes. <laughs> yeah. Right? So that's the reason they have the bigger, enlarged couch. Uh huh. So the size matches to oh, okay. to to when they use actual an actual doll. So, you might just focus on that area too, right? Like where the feet are gonna be at. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, they've shown his whole body running away, and that's something that like I mean at least back in the. 80s late 80s 80s yeah 80s. early 90s uh that technology wasn't as good you know it looked yeah. too fake it looked too stiff or whatever yeah um but that guy the little person who who dress up like chucky recently got in trouble oh for real yes because he was how, how would i put it well he wasn't to they caught him at a uh child pornography sting yeah Oh, yeah. So he was, but he was so like. No, he was doing it. Yeah, in the ring. Yeah, they caught him like. You know how they set up stings, basically. Uh huh. No, I think he just had a bunch on his computer, his drives. I don't think he was actually. Oh, you don't think he was actually doing it? In the act. Well, look at him, dude. That dude was not. I know, but. <laughs> he's, he's to a point where he's like. He looks so unhealthy. Like he had a machine, I think he had the breathing. The, the tank, the oxygen tank. Yeah. So I think it was just like a sting where he was doing it online. Oh, I see. But I don't think he had. Uh, either way. Either yeah. way. Yeah, either way. It's pretty bad. Whether or not. So it's kind of <laughs> like, there's a lot of, I, I always like to read comments just to see what, you know, people's opinions or whatever. And some of them are like, bro, I can never watch those movies the same ever again. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? That's my throat, man. That's your Thank you, everyone, for watching another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. No mo, no low, just bro, and our special guest, Alan. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out and stay posted. Peace. Peace, peace. You peace, peace. And there's my wife over there. Comment down below if you want her on an episode. Oh, I'll comment myself. She won't do it. Okay. I'll All comment right, peace.